Hi, I'm George, I play guitar for Bad Nerves. Uh, we're out in the States at the moment doing an East Coast tour, supporting Royal Bloods. Uh, we've currently got a new single out called USA, check it out. And yeah, we're just gonna go through the gear that I'm using to play guitar for Bad Nerves today. Yeah, we've got a um, Fender Telecaster here. Uh, made in the best country in the world, England. No, it's, really, <laughs> it's the USA. We don't make guitars. So yeah, we've just got an uh, American Standard Tele. Um, I can tell you a little story about this if you want. I got it really cheap because uh, it sort of looked really close here. It's a bit, um, it's a bit warped. It's not quite straight because it was in a, it was in a big old shop in England uh, and it fell off the wall, like one of those ones. So yeah, I basically got it like really cheap. I don't actually know what the original colour was, but it's not, it's not black, but it might be red. So yeah, I got that cheap. Um, yeah, just standard. In Bad Nerves, we just we go here, just on the bridge pickup, so we get that Telecaster sound. That's kind of the sound of the band. The whole band is is just like um, bridge Telecaster guitars, sort of fighting with the vocals. Me and Will both use tens. Um, we're using rotor sounds at the moment because uh, they gave us about uh, six cents off of a pack each so we're saving loads of money no they're a british brand they're great so rope sound strings uh standard tuning um yeah and pretty much the whole bad nerves spiel is just uh we're always on 11. <laughs> no we're always, we're always on 10 yeah we don't we don't touch any of these i should probably take that down to be honest um yeah it's just a really simple straightforward setup it's nothing fancy. So it's not normally like this, but uh, we got to the US uh, a few days ago and we did a show and um, you guys use different power, uh, really weak power. So um, so that one didn't work and um, it all went to shit and we had to, I had to take like three pedals off. It was a fucking nightmare. We had to swear. All right, it was a nightmare. But anyway, we had to go to a music shop and buy these. They, they were quite cheap actually and pretty good. They tried to rip us off, but um, we got them, and then we got these cheap ones, so that's why that's on there. But the chain, so we've got, uh, we've just got, you know, we've got a little TC electronic tuner there. That's the job. Nice little soft click. Uh, I think that goes into this guy. This is cool. So this is actually made by a guy called Adrian Thorpe in the UK, who used to be a military um, explosive specialist in the SAS, and then. Um, he quit and then he started making these pedals. They're really cool actually, they're called Thorpe FX. So this one's always on, this is like the overdrive sound. Uh, so we have like, uh, we use Fender amps normally, like Fender DeVille's. So we've always got like the drive on, um, so we get that kind of broken up channel sound and then um, we just keep that one on all the time. Uh, that one goes into the Boss SD1. That was one of the first pedals I ever got, it was like 40 quid which is like like 48 bucks or something like that. It's super cheap, but I'm just using that like as a feedback because when we're playing live, we kind of like constant noise just to kind of keep the momentum going in the flow. The whole point of the set is for it to be kind of chaotic and just like constant, so there's no like like lulls in the set. So I'm using that a lot, just sort of between songs. Then that goes into this guy, uh, just the boost, so it's not as like loud and like feedback as this. Um, just a little boost if I'm doing any lead bits. So I like I mainly play rhythm guitar. I'm guitar number two in the band because I'm second best. Will's Will's a much better guitar player. So yeah, that just does the, the odd lead bit because Will's really nice to give me some lead bits. He didn't have to, but he did. Then that goes into this. This is actually American made pedal. So is that one? Oh, actually, yeah, they all are apart from that. Uh, this is Walrus Audio. It's actually fucking sick to be fair. Um, it's like a chorus vibrato pedal. So you got your dry chorus for bro. I'm running it like this, so like the depth is max and the rate's really high and like normally you can see like the that light will flash for your rate, like a tap tempo kind of thing. Um, and that's used for a bit of noise and that's also used for um, you know, just one song, you use it for like four seconds. So yeah, really good when you're spending three hundred bucks on a pedal, you use it for four seconds, it's great. Um, then we go into this, another uh, fucking classic DD7. Just using it as a slapback kind of thing. Uh, I think I used that in a new track USA actually. Just uh, there's like a little bridge bit where it's all like really loud and like Bobby screaming and Will's doing some mad lead stuff and I do a bit of lead stuff. And it's wonderful. It's, it's an orchestra. It's, it's beautiful. Just check it out. Um, so yeah, we're using that just briefly. Um, end of the chain. We got this. I'm sure you guys will know this one. Earthquake Devices, Hummingbird. 
I once sent this back because it had a really loud click when I turned it on. And um, I paid loads of money in like shipping. And I was like, this is this pedal's broken. And they were like, no, it ain't. And I was like, it is. And then they sent it back to me and didn't fix it, so that was good. Um, but yeah, that goes, I literally use that for just this, at the start of USA because we've got um, this kind of super like fast, 100% wet tremolo rate thing going on. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, that's the pedal board. Super simple. That's always on. That's between songs. Sometimes that one. And then, yeah, like lead stuff, and that does that as its moment as well. So, nothing too fancy. We're not tap dancing. It's not a shoegaze band. So, sweet. There we go. We're not going straight from like end of the chain pedal board to amp. Uh, wait, yeah, we are. Mine. Um, but this is a DI box that we're using. Uh, TM loves this. I don't really know what it does. It's great. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't really know what it does. Um, it's, it, like, it's like a pre. It's like a. It's the amp sound like saved, isn't it, or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? Actually, the reason he got these. Tom, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is our TM. Oh, explain this. Go on. So it is. Oh yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Go what on. We call a load box. So it takes the sound of your amp straight out into the speaker input and then it sits between the amp head and uh, the speaker cabinet but this simulates the sound of a speaker cabinet so you, you get a really clean signal, a really consistent signal each night rather than a microphone on a cab that moves around uh, yeah that's basically it so you can run it between your amp and your head and it has a DI out so you don't have any bleed or any spill from anything else on stage and uh, it's a bit of a game changer really uh, it's great Look at that. Sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk, two <laughs> notes torpedo capacitor. There you go. Well, Next time we want them for free. Yeah, there we go. I mean, yeah, torpedo, two notes, great. Fucking. <laughs> you know what? I couldn't do the gig without that. Yeah. Don't worry about that or that. Yeah. Don't worry about either of those. Torpedo. This, Amazing. that is all you need. It's actually playing like pre recorded guitar, so you don't even have to play it. It's all you need. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking. Yeah. You don't I, even play guitar. I don't know how they did it, yeah. <laughs> I only started last week, but anyway, yeah. There you go, that's the DI box. So Bad Nerves has like a really particular sound, as in it's, it's, it's really narrow-minded, really. That's the best way to describe it. It's, it's Fender Telecasters on bridge pickup with Fender De Ville's. Um, I think Will, Will is like the mastermind behind that, but anyway. Um, we sort of, we run it just on the drive channel, but not on the more drive, on the DeVille. Um, when we're recording like the albums, we, we run like stereo mix between like a 212 and a 412, uh, 410. Will's got a really nice 410 actually, but my 212's like, um, I think maybe like an 07 or something like that. And it sounds really good actually, because you know, the, the models vary, it always changes. Uh, I just got lucky. Um, so uh, yeah, that's a bad nerve sound. We tend to go like drive channel, but like not the more drive on the less drive. We're whacking it live, it's about two or three, isn't it, Will, live? I'm, I'm about two on that channel, on that overdrive channel. Yeah. On the drive mode. Same. So it's just, it's just like a little bit dirty, just to like, you know, just sort of replicate, like just an amp breaking up. And yeah, like I've, I've got that gunshot thing going on, that overdrive pedal of that one. That's kind of like all of my sound. We've got something else going on, but um, yeah, that's the amp. And then we're whacking the treble up. I'm normally around ten. Presence is high. Mids are like quite low, like below, below the mids, like full four. And then bass is up. And uh, yeah, and uh, we have the most reverb you've ever heard from anyone. Like it's 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 an ethereal dream when you listen to bad nerves. <laughs> reverb ten. <laughs> reverb eleven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no reverb. None at all, um, just straight up fucking, you know, just fucking chords, power chords, that's it really. So, that's it, that's all the amps, that's uh, the good the amps, that's the good guitars. Um, no one could have spoken more about the most simple setup than I could, so thank you very much. Picks wise, um, I discovered these guys, these are really good. So these are Jim Dunlops, and uh, they these these max grip max grips. So we always use 88s and before. I think we'll discover these actually because we were using just like uh, the nylon 88s, uh, which are really good, like the perfect thickness. But I kept dropping them, and then we found these max grip ones, which are fucking great. Like, so if you're in like a sweaty band and you're just uh, you're not really worried about technique or anything, because we're not, because we, we use full arm. Um, which is terrible, <laughs> but it sounds wicked. Full arm, right near the bridge. Uh, we use these guys, um, which are really good. They're perfect, and you just you sort of drop them a lot less, 
and yeah, so that's the picks. And uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. This has been a Bad Nerves Rundown of Guitar Number no. 2, George, second best guitar. And you can find Bad Nerves on all of the social media platforms Spotify, Apple Music, MySpace, uh, Deezer. Yeah, Deezer, uh, Pixo. Yeah. yeah, we're on Habbo Hotel. Tumblr. We're on all of it. Tumblr, there you go. So uh, go check it out. We've got a new single out, new album next year. And yeah, hopefully, we're going to be back in the States next year as well. So that'd be great. Thanks a lot.